smiling face reflects the past of good times in my life And echoes of the tears reflect the bad Beneath the traces of these faces looking out at me Lies the only friend I ever had Looking glass, see through me I see you and you see me Welcome back. It's like an Eric here. Another AA meeting. We're going to dive into the Acid Archive Diaries. This is number 22. So this was a thread started by Seeking a Thread, Dom, Dominic. Uh, and this is my copy of the Acid Archives, sort of a guidebook, a reference book. As far as well, on the back here, it says the ultimate guide to underground sounds from 65 to 1982. And the second edition is definitely the way to go. I just Spent so many years without it. I think I got the first book maybe back in 2016, I want to say, around there. And um, even though this edition, I think they have repressed this. I mean, this has been reprinted uh, recently. So you can pick this up on Amazon, I think, for 40 bucks. Um, and I think the second edition originally came out in like 2010, is that right? I'm pretty sure. It specializes in a lot of underground sounds, but of course you'll find a few notable titles from the psych era that may have become collectible or what have you just the um it's all about the stories within um how these records got discovered and um what impressions they've left as far as the um collecting community at large a lot of them go up in price spike in prices because of just the rarity itself which is not always fun but musically they're always very interesting, um, even if I don't necessarily like it, because there is a lot of records in here that I definitely wouldn't pick up on. But I mean, they certainly are rare self-releases, oftentimes that are interesting to, you know, hear about different stories, you know, DIY style, um, people recording in their bedrooms, you know, doing it very cheaply, low budget, oftentimes, and but that's not always the case for everything in this book, but it's a large portion of that. Um, and then you will see some major label stuff, but it oftentimes be pretty obscure. Um, wouldn't have sold back in its day. So uh, if you guys haven't made a video before, and I know some of you out there haven't made videos, but you're always commenting, I encourage you to dive into this. I, I feel like I'm always hogging the airwaves when it comes to uh, pushing this thread out there, but for me, I find it very fun. I think it, I, that's pretty much my whole point of being on here on YouTube and on social media uh, in general. I just love pushing out those obscurities that, you know, people just want to go out and discover. And I'm always discovering too. It's not like I know everything because I certainly don't. And there's a lot of stuff I haven't listened to that I know I've known for years. Today, I got one perfect example of one that you wouldn't suspect this label to show up in the book. Considering who made the label popular, we're talking about the Delight label. And this is quite an obscure one here. This is Popcorn Blizzard, with their album Explode. And just looking at that colorful text, you know, it's like, what is this about? It certainly pops, doesn't it? And yes, it does. It explodes, except they could have definitely had a better photo shoot, I think. It's a little, the contrast does not match very well, but. <laughs> but getting a good hard look at these guys, they definitely look older than your typical when it comes to these scenes. And people back then looked a lot older, you know, even being like in their 30s, they looked like, you know, definitely pushing 40. And I think these guys were certainly around my age group, definitely not teenagers. And you know, they almost give me the impression that maybe they've been behind the scenes a long time. They got that kind of session player kind of vibe. But according to Discogs, I mean, there's only one guy that's done anything else. And it's um, uh, Solomon. I forget his first name, but uh, it, it only has their last names here on the back. Uh, Solomon, I guess, I think it's Eli Solomon. 
He did a lot of um, producing, or I should say engineering, for a few different Delight record titles, including Cool in the Gang. This is an early one for the label, and I think it was a sub-label of Map City, definitely in that region. But this group was actually from New Jersey, reportedly, um, East Coast based. And um, yeah, so the primary tag on this one, I would consider this one to be strictly sunshine pop, vocal pop, and as far as the psych influences go, the trip meter, not very high on this one. There are definitely some of uh, those characteristics, like some wah pedal guitar, but it's very subtle. Uh, definitely got some uh, interesting tremolo effects here and there on the guitar backing. But nothing too tripped out um, as far as like a, a big standout or anything. I have to say, man, I really love this LP. Um, all the way up until like side two, halfway through, dips in quality for me. Um, the steam is let loose at that point. But all of side one, man, opening up with Missing You, transitioning into I Just Saw a Face. Now, according to like the stock copy I heard online, I guess it just continuously flows, but this promo copy actually fades out on those tracks. It's kind of interesting. But I would say, as far as the big highlight, would be the third track, Looking Glass. It's got a bit of a repetitive chorus, but in the end, I, I still really enjoy it. It's very, like, kind of breezy, dreamy, um, sort of slice of pop. And then, um, yeah, I didn't mean to hurt you. It's got some good uh, kind of moodiness to it as well. And then uh, the other big highlight, uh, the two big highlights on side two, Good Good Day. Reminds me a little bit of like um, Yellow Balloon a little bit. If you guys know that record. Definitely channeling in that kind of uh, very, you know, childlike sort of sunshine pop. Giving a little bit of a West Coast vibe. And then That's What Your Love Means to Me. It's got a very good sort of groove to it. Walking by the lake when the sun's going down. I stroll through the park on the far side of town. Or relaxing after dinner, just playing around. That's what you love. Yeah, even though it is Sunshine Pop, the, the, the vibe on this one, it, it, I would almost call it like cloudy Sunshine Pop. It's very whispery. The vocals are very cloudy, if that makes sense. It's kind of faded in the back and um, pretty soft, pretty subtle, not too far away from sounding like the Letterman, perhaps. And I'm not really big on like the sappy stuff. And this doesn't get too sappy. I mean, maybe towards the end it does, like tracks like Lonely River. Um, the last quarter of the record really um, doesn't live up to it, but um, this is one of those cases where I don't think this sold very well at all, and there's actually no reissues of this at, um, on CD or any bootlegs. Um, I could see this one getting one down the road perhaps, but again, there's not a whole lot of info online. I've scoured the internet, looked at different blog sites, and uh, not a whole lot turns up. And Popcorn Blizzard, if you guys don't know, I should have said right away, this is not the one that features Meatloaf um, under the same name. Uh, he was in a band called Popcorn Blizzard from Michigan that released one single, and they even covered, like, uh, Lee, Lee Michaels' track. It's kind of interesting. But yeah, man, um, definitely check it out. I've, I've definitely posted this on a video mix one time, the track Good Good Day. It's got some good, like, kind of, you know, very innocent, very naive, very pure sunshine pop, vocal pop. Um, you know, if you guys love stuff like The Association, but the lighter side of that, even. Um, it just depends, you know. Sometimes I don't like the light pop stuff, but this one definitely fits in my, um, in the shelves for me. So, yeah, if I had to recommend, again, two big highlights... Looking Glass, and then I would check out That's What Your Love Means to Me and see if those two hook you in. Otherwise, um, I wish I could give more backstory, but I could not find too much about these guys except for Salomon, who uh, 
had his hand with uh, Cool in the Gang for a while. And uh, I do love their outfits though, the whole scarves and whatnot. Uh, it does look a little rough when you look close at it, but it plays pretty well. It's a pretty strong disc. I'd say like maybe plays VG. And uh, I got this for like 50 bucks online, I think on Discogs. And currently I looked up on Discogs, the stock copies, there's none of, I, well, I think there were two copies of that for over a hundred bucks. And then promo copies, which is this one, um, there were no copies available. So it's always kind of been that way. I've, I waited for the longest time for a copy to pop up and these are pretty scarce for some reason. Um, yeah, so don't know what the details are behind that. If um, maybe they pressed less than expected. But yeah, it's kind of interesting that it's on the delight label. You don't typically see that label get highlighted until later on in the 70s, but let's dive into the AA book. Free Jazz. Uh, where's it at? Here we go. Kind of a lengthy entry here. This is, well, here it claims 1968, but different sources say 1970 or like early 70. So it was probably recorded like late 60s at least. White Label Promo exists. This gets the one to two rarity, even at that time. And this says, the seldom seen title is unusual in that it's a small label production of soft vocal harmony pop. The style was typically the domain of major labels and name producers, but Popcorn Blizzard had a go at it anyway. Looking quite British on the front cover, Explode plays somewhat like the imitations of a LA top 40 pop that were common in England at the time. Opinions on Popcorn Blizzard are mixed, but with the right expectations, it's not bad at all. The songs are generally good, the harmonies all male, not exactly angelic, but agreeable. The production reflects an understanding of the style, with lots of keyboard, light orchestrations, and a big spacey sound. There's melodic fuzz on several tracks. Um, I don't know about that, but it's, it's sort of lingering in the background, like on the first two tracks. Some variation is offered towards the end with the Walker Brothers croonerism of Lonely River and the moody Take My Love Forever, which is closer to Rubber Soul than Pet Sounds. Fans of the Betcher Usher dimension are likely to enjoy this neat little trip. I would agree with that. With contextual interest added via its complete obscurity in a very mainstream genre, I think Explode is better than Jane and more consistent than Sage and Seer. I used to have Jame. It's a very small, like, I think it was like a, it, it looks like a Christian record, but it was like a black and red cover with two artists on the front. I used to have that one. Uh, Sage and Seer, still looking for that one. This East Coast band had nothing to do with Meat Loaf's first group of the same name. The Delight band also had two 45s out which I guess I don't know how obscure those are, but uh, Patrick Lumborg mentioned that one. So, yeah, pretty pretty solid review there, I would say. It's pretty accurate. Um, I, I also forgot to mention, too, the backing. The rhythm section of this is pretty good, too. The bass and the drums are kind of locked in. It's um, pretty nice. I really do like the vocals, too. They're not... Like I said, keep saying it's not too sappy, but they're very soft, very cloudy sunshine pop. Kind of like the front cover there. It looks a little breezy, kind of cloudy. Not exactly sunny, but that's where um, that's what they're pushing at least. So get one last shot of the back here. So there you have it. A Map City reproduction produced by Pete Anders. Yeah, so uh, check it out online. There is uh, Ahones or Ahones, Ahones, uh, whoever that user is. He's got hell of a collection on YouTube. He's made a playlist of this one, so uh, do check it out. Till then, hope you guys are having a good weekend. I'm recording this on Tuesday, but I'll try to push this out this weekend. And um, yeah. Relaxed some popcorn blizzard. Uh, Till next time. 
uh, catch you down the road.